In this video, I'm going to teach you how to record your lectures quickly and cost-effectively. Hello everyone and welcome to H2 Combo. This is a special segment in how to record your lectures live. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to record your lectures live using screen capturing software and a voice recorder. Then I'm going to teach you how to sync your voice up with that recorded video. Then teach you how to upload that video to YouTube. So the first thing you're going to need is a voice recorder. You can get a voice recorder and lay it on top of your podium and record lectures that way. It's not really recommended because you could get a lot of weird feedback noises. Personally, I prefer buying a lapel mic for your smartphone. It'll run you about somewhere between $10 to $20 depending on what you get. Basically, I hook it up into my audio slot and it records my lectures as I walk around. And it also picks up the students really well. With the lapel mic, you can also download free app software, such as Voice Recorder Pro is what I personally use, to actually record your voice as you walk around the classroom. It's quick, it's easy, and it also syncs to your Google Drive. Makes it very convenient in keeping up with your audio files. The next thing you're going to need, especially if you present through PowerPoint, Prezi, anything like that, is a screen recorder. Now, there is free software such as OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. It is free to download and for everybody. Personally, I prefer Bandicam. It will run you about $30 to $40, but I like it because it's very user friendly. One thing I like about the screen recorder is that anything that you have projecting on there will be recorded and the students can see it. Personally, I like to use a document camera instead of writing on the board itself. One reason why is anything that shows up on that screen will be recorded so they can see me work out problems and see how it was done. So the last thing you're going to need is video editing software. Most computers come with video editing software, but if yours doesn't, might I recommend Wondershare. It's very user friendly in case you have absolutely no idea or no previous experience whatsoever dealing with video editing. It even has an easy mode to go by. So after you have all your equipment, the next thing you need to do is decide what you want to record. First thing, go ahead and open up your PowerPoint or what you plan to present. Go ahead and open your screen recorder. For example, I will be using Bandicam. Go ahead and click record. The next thing you should do is go ahead and start recording on your voice recorder. When you have both devices recording, go ahead and sync. How to sync is very simple. Personally, I like to type the numbers 1, 2, 3 as I say them out loud. For example, sync 1, 2, 3, sync 1, 2, 3. Sync 1, 2, 3, sync 1, 2, 3. This is very important. This will allow you to sync your audio file with your video file later. After you have completed the syncing process, you may go ahead and present. Continue to present until you are done. When you are done, go ahead and stop the recording. Now that you finish recording, go ahead and open up your video editing software. For this example, I'm going to use Wondershare, but pretty much all of them work the same way. The first thing you're going to want to do is upload your video and audio files. Once you have them both uploaded, go ahead and place them on the timeline. The next thing you're going to want to do is sync up your audio with your video. This is an example of how to do so. All right, sync one, two, three, sync one, two, three. As you can see on the video, the numbers do not align with the voice. What we're gonna do is go ahead and sync those up and just move them along the timeline, like so. All right, sync one, two, three, sync one, two, three. Sync, one, two, three, sync, one, two, three. After you have them aligned, go ahead and export the video. This is not necessary, but it makes editing a lot easier. Once you finish editing your video, you're ready to upload. Once you're signed onto YouTube, select the upload button. From there, just find the file you just created and upload it. This will take some time depending on how long your video is. Once it's done, go ahead and share your YouTube link with your students. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button.
Thanks for watching and good luck.